Guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do another 90s book. This is the Deadly Duo issue number one from Image Comics. Remember the Deadly Duo guys from the Savage Dragon books? Well, they got a mini series, a free parter, you know, and I'm just continue with the number ones because uh, a lot of, uh, you know, older series that I reviewed is just, well, they close, they're not closing, but you know, you have last issue. So I'm going to continue with the newer ones. And since it's only free issues, it's easy to digest. So it's been written by um, Eric Larson and fan favorite um, artist, uh, why am I blanking? Andy Smith is the, the one that does, well, no, is, does the glorious art. <clears throat> uh, I, I love Andy Smith's work. He is, uh, his, his work is, uh, his art is very um, over-exaggerated. He can do bodies. You know, and, and, and autonomy, if that's how you say it, uh, very, very well. It's always very muscular and the women are always sexy and all that. He's uh, showing a lot of, you know, muscles and lines and, and it, well, it's all very toned, if that's the right word. So basically, Kill Cap, that's his, word, that's his name, is fighting criminal, criminals. All his, his, well, rogues gallery, if you can call it that, is attacking them. And this is more like a comedy book and, you know, depends on your taste as the comedy is landing, yes or no. So this guy called Radiator is, is trying to kill him. And he says, in your dreams, Radiator, because he says, prepare to die. And he says, I'm just getting warmed up. You know, it's those those kind of jokes, right? Um, but, you know, it's, it's so it goes on and on, etc. And then he's getting rescued by Dart. So Dart is, um, I believe this is the original Dart. And um, the, the, she died later, spoiler. And then another replaced her who is more like an evil dart, I guess. It's been a long time. I, I don't remember all the details. But if you are a big, how do you say, old school um, Savage Dragon fan like I was, I mean, I really don't like the newer one with the sun. It's just boring, in my opinion, because basically he's creating the same character then, then younger or something. I don't know. It's just... I. I really don't like the the, uh, the newer ones, but that's my personal opinion. Anyway, um, seems a little bit that Eric Larson lost his way. Let's let's leave it at that. Um, but if you like it, cool. Um, so yeah, so they are fighting, and, and so Dart is well, she's martial artist, and she can throw darts. That's her stick. She doesn't have any superpowers. I mean, Kill Cat has some superpowers, but we're gonna explain that in later issues. And, uh, and so in the end, they kiss because they like each other. But then, um, yeah, he wakes up because it was all a dream. And it seems they was, I don't know, they were, were together. There's a story behind that. I'm not going to spoil because I'm not sure if it's in issue two or three at all. Or maybe the, um, I believe there's also another Deadly Duo comic. I, I'm forgetting a lot. It's a long time ago. And um, so he seems he's missing her. But then... So we go here, this guy teleports in, but before that, so this guy comes here with this, I don't know, stand, and he says, do you have any copy of Chunky Butt Magazine? So this guy says, oh, you're a man of culture. So this guy teleports in, and he wants to say, hey, yikes, let me hide in your booth. Get out of here, you pervert. <laughs> with his belly open. Uh, so who is this? Gonna explain a little bit later. Uh, it's not really a big reveal, but you know, all of these, Villains and, and heroes have mostly very simplified costumes. And sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. I mean, if you look at this costume, it's basically, you know, spandex with boots and a metal face plate, if you can call it that. I like metal face plates. I don't know, I just like them. But then these, how do you call this, bangles? I'm not sure how you call this. I mean, what's the purpose? It's Isn't it very difficult to walk in those things? I, I mean... Come on. Uh, so this this young guy is very happy to be here. And he says, yeah, I made it. I survived a trip back through time in one piece. And he's just taking off. And he says, ah, oh, the past is beautiful. Mini skirts, disco, big old sideburns, hot chocolate, the carpenters, ABBA, <laughs> etc. Bell bottom pants. But um, there's a catch, of course. Um, so... He, he stops and he thinks, oh, wait a minute. Um, I don't have an apartment and nowhere to live. So his brilliant plan was is to call one of his 
relatives that lives in this time period. And he says, um, um, Hey, Mr. Osborne, it's Mark. I'm a relative from the far future who's come to the past to... Hello? Look, I know it sounds ridiculous, but it's true. If you could just put me up for the past few days, I... I'm not a nut. Look here, Gramps. I don't have time for this. And he's just hanging up. And he's also afraid that because of this stupid thing, he put the timeline in jeopardy so he never could be born. But so he says, well, it's a good thing you told me to get lost. Anyway, so he has just a couple of dollars with him and uh, he wants to crash in soon. I don't know, a whole flea back hotel. So he goes there, but then, oh no, a new menace has appeared. And it's not other than... Cement man. <laughs> like I said, very simplified costume, but then with something added on it. So Mark comes here and he says, hey, mellow out, man. Why are you so bum, dude? Are you tripping or do you grog what I'm saying? Mm, what's up, doc? Anything I could do to help? Die! So small little, um, how do you say, uh, spoiler here. Mark went back, I mean, that was the plan, to the 70s. Well, this is not the 70s, this is the 80s. So basically, he's in the wrong time period. Well, we come back, I believe, in issue number two to that, or maybe not at all, but yeah, this is a small spoiler. Uh, because he's, you know, talking like in the 70s. I mean, he's tried to be, he's tried to be cool, which he isn't, of course. So uh, Cementman says, har, har, har. So Catman, or Kill Cat, that's his name. Why am I saying Catman? So he comes in and, uh, you know, fights him and he's a really big fist but because he has more like how do you say sandman powers but then with cement man you know what i'm saying not sand okay let's move on okay kill cats try to uh hurt him but you know he's way too strong he doesn't you know being faced at all by the power of the kill cat so kill cat says let's see how you can handle water cement man and he says i can handle it just fine thanks so Mark is just getting, you know, almost crushed again, you know, here. There's a, it's not a wall, it's a, it's a mountain, I guess. So he's pretty pissed off and flying back. Well, Cementman's tried to kill, um, cat, kill cat. I want to say cat man again. So kill cat is a brilliant idea. Hey, remember that movie when the robot came from the future and tried to, you know, kill a certain woman with, um, you know, yeah, that. So he tries to do that. And he says, come and get me. And he says, uh, don't think so, pussycat. Not that stupid. Even I have seen that movie. Yeah, I'm talking about Terminator, you losers. <laughs> Remember that. Um, he says, you can't blame a guy for trying. And, um, but I mean, he can do anything or just, you know. Mark comes in and he says, no more Mr. Nice Guy. The kid's gloves are on. I'm taking care of business. Suck it to me, baby. Uh, and he does this. So he blasts, ba well, literally his face off. Um, I believe this is a um, walking furnace or something. That's his powers. I mean, he's just, you know, full of deadly energy, I guess. Um, and Kilcat says, well, what's to... <laughs> Was just about to do something like that myself. Hey man, good job, Squirt. You could stop him cold. The doctor said he recovered, but it's gonna take a while. He ha he'll have his get to head together. Ha! Uh, oh ha! Good. Wake up in prison. Innocence will be safe. Life spared. All is well in the world. Oh well, our job is done. You're one hell of a superhero. Um, we make a great team. I like to work with you again sometime. So but then, before he goes away, he says, um, Mark says, Hey, how about now? I just arrived in the city and um, Detroit and have no place to stay. I'm young, energetic, and willing to do whatever I can to help out. So Kilcat says um, later. Uh, so basically also Mark says, It would be a tremendous honor to work with a famous crime fighter like yourself. Oh, yeah? So, <laughs> of course, his ego is now being stroked. And he says, What's your name, kid? But Mark doesn't have a real name. So he calls himself Kid Adventure. That would be fine, I guess. So Kill Cat says, the kid adventure, the kid, I like it. We make the team supreme, the terrific duo, the deadly duo. Evil doers prepare to meet defeat from the guys that can't be beat. The deadly duo, Kill Cat and the kid. Kill Cat, I thought he was Batman. That's the end of this book. So yeah, there's some humor in here that, that could work. But now that I've read about it, 
it's not that bad. It's not really that funny either. But you know, the art is really good. I mean, I like um, I, I like Randy's uh, uh, Andy Smith's art, and uh, yeah, we got to see if it's actually holding up. Um, well, it's now you know thirty years late. Jesus Christ, thirty years later. Um, I still don't like Rob Liefeld's art. And no, I'm not going to talk about it. I'm stopping. So guys, let me know what you think about it, about this one. Do you have it? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Leave a comment. Like the video, subscribe and all the jazz. See you next time. Bye-bye.